Cause now the professionals do. But I hate that shit. No cap, man. Yo, what's up, guys? Edgar Archify here. Back for my first Q and A ever. I do appreciate all the support and love recently. Um, if you guys didn't get to ask me a question, make sure you follow me on Twitter. That's where I go ask all my questions and a bunch of other random stuff. So if you guys ever want to see that, make sure you go check it out. But here we got the first question. Let's get into it. So the first question is coming from Molly. What got you into gaming? So when I was three years old, my parents um, went to like a casino gambling type of thing, and they somehow won an Xbox, like the original Xbox. It was back in 2003, and um, so that really got me into gaming. I've been playing games ever since. I then switched over to the Xbox 360, and then about 2014, 2015, I moved over to PC, and I've been on PC ever since. So that's why you guys really don't see me. Um, my controller or like any of my old videos you'll see me on the 360 right now I do have a ps3 just for like the MLB games, um, but that's all I really use it for So the next question is coming in from the boy crit. Why did you quit being my duo? And why did you quit comp? So some of you know I do have a torn labrum in my right shoulder It's the um, it's the part that holds your shoulder in place and currently it's torn like right about here um, So whenever I move my shoulder up it hurts sometimes sometimes it doesn't but especially if I'm moving the mouse around a lot my shoulder will give me a lot of pain so that's why I really quit comp um, it was just really hard to practice and I just wanted to do other things besides that because it was so strain strenuous on my shoulder and um, like I said I apologize crit I felt really bad for dropping you um, but you're bad anyway so it doesn't really matter next question is coming from Quincy the boy why are you so good let me know homo hey love you too dog big never mind uh, why am I so good? Practice, man. I mean, I've been playing Fortnite since Season 1. Uh, I took a break in Season 2, and then I came back. But really just practice. I mean, I stream 8 to 10 hours a day. And, uh, you know, I used to do edit course and all that stuff when I played comp. Not anymore. Now I just trick shot. Just try to chill. So, um, yeah. That's how I'm so... Oh, that was so... Next question from the boy Journey YT. Why is creativity the key to content creating? See, you want to be different than everyone else, right? Like, you want to stand out. Like, people just make, like, montage after montage after montage. Shut the boy Justin, no cap. Um, but, like, if you just make montages all day, like, yeah, the videos would do good, whatever, whatever. But, like, that's not going to make your channel, like, go insane, right? Like, the videos that are popping right now are different or, you know, like... If you think about it this way, like, um, you know, Sword Dylan, Plu, all them, they do the same type of content. They just, um, you know, like, TTVs react and, like, they, like, watch you know spectate people whatever whatever but like that's a different than just doing montages all day montage have been done for years and years so just trying to be different trying to make new content will make you stand out because it's something that someone's never seen before and they're going to be interested in checking it out so that's why it's really important to uh, you know get different content in there and, and really be creative with it now we got existing with the question is there any backstory that named orctify so in about 2013 2014 um I was looking for some OG names, you know, on the Xbox 360, BO2, MW2, Trickshot, Grind. You know, I wanted to be OG like all the all the phase members. So I was looking for some four letters, five letters, and I actually found Orked, O R C E D. And I was thinking of like a like a flower, like an orchid, but I didn't like the H in there, so I wanted to like eliminate the H and somehow my dumbass spelled orc like that. I don't know how. When I tried to put it on YouTube, um, back then you couldn't have like the same name as someone. And some channel that uploaded like cartoons about like ogres and stuff had it so i just put an ify at the end because it sounded good so that's what i run with now orctify boy fisher put up with a question first pet fairly enough my first pet was actually a fish and that's really the only pet we've had i've only had like a few fish and then we had, like a frog ones but um the fish name was spider-man we went on vacation all right be the boy spider-man next question coming in from logic how long did it take you to join acro so actually I grinded for about a month at it. Next question coming in from Logic. How long did it take you to join aggro? So it took me about a month and a half. My grind was much different. When I first started grinding for aggro, I honestly didn't know what aggro was. I was going to grind for like ghosts or some org or something. And then Peak Shots was like, dude, you're dumb as shit. And I was like, yeah, I am. We know this. So he told me to grind for aggro. I didn't know what aggro was. I looked him up and I was like, sure, why not? And, um... <coughs> so I grinded for about a month and a half and um, I was grinding every day like no break streaming every single day like I normally do but the last week of my aggro grind um, I really like strapped down I did like 40 hours and five days or something crazy like that like I was really going in going in every day grinding hella hard making videos like I was going in man I had a lot of time back then so 
uh, and then I got in. So a month and a half, like it seems like way less than most people do for aggro, but like I was really, I was really into it. So if you guys really want to get in aggro, man, you got to put in that work. You got to show us that you're dedicated and that you're growing, right? Like if you're streaming every day, eight hours a day, but you're gaining like two, three subs a day, it's not gonna cut it. You gotta, you gotta make yourself different, make yourself out there, and start picking up more subs, man. Just, uh, just um, streaming on YouTube isn't gonna help you. That's what I used to do. You gotta start making videos and content. YouTube videos will do way better than streams. You'll get way more subs than you would if you would stream. This question coming in from Waters. What made you want to do YouTube? So, back in, um, it was right after senior year, like right at the end of senior year. I had an IRL that was streaming on Twitch, and he was getting like two, three viewers. Like it wasn't anything crazy, but like I was looking kind of jealous of him, right? Because like I've always been, I've always been gaming. Like I've, I've always wanted to do this. I just never have. I never knew how. He started streaming on Twitch, and I was like, yo, I want to do that. And I've never told this story. He has no idea if he's watching this video. What up, Patrick? But. Um, like he's never seen this. Uh, I've never told anybody, but like I was low kind of jealous of him. I was like, shit, like he's streaming. Like I really want to do this. So I uploaded my first YouTube video almost about like a like a year ago, like today, something like that, like super long ago. And um, well, I guess not that long, but uh, I uploaded my first YouTube video, and then like he was streaming, he was streaming. I was like, you know what? I really want to do this. So I just started streaming on YouTube, and the day I started, I have never stopped. I've taken the you know few days off just for personal reasons or like I got work and stuff but like I've never like took a long break um on like this upcoming week uh so if you guys didn't know I'm going on vacation um I didn't make it too public but I'm going on vacation this next week I'll be gone for a few days but I'll have YouTube videos scheduled hopefully if my lazy ass gets to it um today I'm there's two days before we leave and this is the first video I'm making so um But yeah, so I'll be gone uh, until the third. So no streams until the third, but hopefully some YouTube videos up. But um, yeah, he really got me into it. He started streaming and I really wanted to stream. So I started streaming on YouTube and I haven't stopped since. Next coming in from the boy Shark Man. Boy Gordy. What do you think about sharks? Not a fan of sharks, but I did swim with a shark once. Roll it. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of sharks, but I did swim with a shark once, or kind of pet him. It was kind of sick, though. He couldn't bite us, I don't think. I hope not, but it was kind of sick. Wavies with the question. First game that you ever played. So I don't remember the first game I ever played, but the game that like resides with me most from the Xbox is called Whacked. Uh, it's a super weird game. You're like these like cartoon characters that run around, and you just beat each other's senses and like shoot each other with cannons and stuff. It's an amazing game. I don't think you can find it anywhere. I had it on this like this like test demo case. I don't even know what it was. I think it's called like the Orange Box or something. And um, but that's a fantastic game. So if any of you have an Xbox and you can find the game Whacked, I'll have a picture up on the screen. Make sure to link me it and I'll buy it. Next question from Gingies. Why did you want a trick shot? So, like I said earlier, I have a torn labrum, so it's really hard for me to like competitively game, like really be serious with practice and stuff. And um, I saw the boy Justin and Fisher, and uh, at that time, Fisher was grinding for back for aggro, and Justin was still grinding for like TXG or something. And uh, I started playing with them, and they really got me into it. And then shot the boy Breezy. Breezy pulled up, and we all started trick shotting together. And um, it was just really fun getting to last and you know, having that drive to like really go for something, right? Because like, when you trick shot, like it's always that drive of like is like that thought of like will I hit? Why not hit? Like you know, like you never know if you're gonna hit that game or not. So it's really like it makes you keep going and going and going. And then once you hit, like you want to hit again. So that's that's what the like the allure of it is for me. Um, I kind of explain it like gambling. Like you never know if you're gonna hit the jackpot. Once you do, you want to keep going, right? So I really enjoy trick shotting. Um, it's it's something that you can be really creative with, and you can kind of do whatever you want. And um, yeah, it's really fun. Now you got Zimplify. What encourages you to stream and grind or on top? Appreciate it, bro. Thank for the support. Really, you guys encourage me to stream, right? Because like I always come back and you know I always have people with the noties on. People always coming in the stream or first first in the uh, video. So I really appreciate it. You guys are the ones that make me grind. I'm still here because of you guys always supporting me. So I really appreciate it. Like you guys do it all for me, right? Like whenever I'm streaming, like if I'm down a day. You know, I'll come stream because it, it makes me happy, right? Because you guys, you guys are always there. You guys are always supporting, making me laugh. So I really appreciate everybody that comes in the streams or just watch the YouTube videos. I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Next one from the boy Methods. How did your parents think about you and your gaming YouTube career? 
at first they didn't really understand it. They just thought I was on, on the computer playing games because I didn't tell them at first. Because that's what I've always done, right? I've like I've always played video games for you know all my life. I did play baseball really heavily. I was supposed to go to college for baseball, but I tore my labrum. But um, they just thought I was on the computer. And then after a while, you know, I got the double monitor set up. I moved my setup around, and then they were kind of like confused why I was like you know buying so much and doing so much. So I told them, and then um, so they're supportive. Um, some days they're kind of like, you know, you need to get off this and, and go out and stuff, which I do, but, um, for the most part, they're pretty supportive, but at times they can be like, Hey, you need to get off. You need to do this. You need to do that, which I understand. But, um, at the end of the day, you know, I'm really trying to make it here and, and you guys are really helping me. So again, thank you so much. Uh, on to the next one. Final question of the Q and A coming from the boy No. Shout out the boy No. Huge supporter of the stream. Huge supporter of Agron, an amazing individual. If you guys want to go check him out, there's his Twitter as well as everybody else in this video. Um, but his question is, what pushes you to accomplish your dreams? A lot of us would like to know. Um, so some of you know this, some of you don't. Uh, the year after, so like a few months before I started streaming, I worked a desk job. I worked um, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, it was in a field that I like it was marketing which I do now social media marketing to be specific You know uploading on Facebook and doing websites and a bunch of other stuff like that But uh, it just wasn't for me man sitting there having some nice clothes on being hella uncomfortable all day 9 to 5 Monday through Friday not being able to hang out with friends not being able to do pretty much anything, right? It just wasn't for me. That's what really that's what pushed me man I just I sat there and I realized like hey, this is not something I want to do I don't want to sit here Monday through Friday, nine to five, you know, for the rest of my life. That's definitely not something I want to pursue. So, you know, streaming, yeah, you sit in a computer for long hours, for a lot of the time, more hours than you would at a nine to five, but I'm comfortable. I'm sitting in some shorts. Some people sitting there naked. I don't know. That's not for me, but yeah. So that's what really pushes me. Also, you know, seeing my friends, fan, my friends and family happy, you know, being able to provide for the people that I love. Uh, really makes me going and then also you guys, you know, no huge support of the stream I really do appreciate man. You really you really help me out a lot and I really do appreciate it as well as everybody else that comes in the stream or donates or is a sub to the twitch channel So I really do appreciate it guys seriously um, You know you've changed my whole the whole course of my life um, Even if I don't pursue gaming, which I really hope I can but you know some things just don't work out um, so Again, you guys everybody that comes and supports i really do appreciate it that is the end of the video if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like help me out a ton Just leave a comment what video you want me to do next when you're seeing this i'm probably on vacation or about to be on vacation um it's been your boy Arctify. i really do appreciate the questions make sure to follow me on twitter instagram and my twitch it'll all be in the description love you guys have a wonderful day deuces Smelling like the gas, yeah, you know it's us Girl, sip it, sir, booty twerking on my tour bus 3D, in the 2C, foot up in the clutch 3D, in the 2C, yeah, yeah